Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach about the ja simple Java game. Let us show the demo first. Uh, here this uh, dumbbell should be generated automatically. Okay. Uh, the display until 1 to 10. So if I enter the correct number, game will be end. You will be win. Okay. If I enter 2 here, it will be a try again. Again I am going to enter 1. Try again. So here I am going to randomly generate 3. Try again. So I am going to enter 7. We will see. You will win. I will uh, uh, enter the correct number. You will be win. Game end. Okay. Simple program. So how to do the simple game? This is simple gaming. How to do step by step? We will see. First what I am going to do here is. First I am going to go to file. New. Java. Java application. Click next. Here I am going to. If it is check create main class. You have to uncheck it. Here I am going to create the name as Java game. Finish. Okay, finish. Java game finish. So we ask the uh, project, this is, a, this is our project. We to expand the project. Select the default package, right click new, Java frame form. Here Java game. Java game. Java game. Right. Click finish. Right. This form, this is the frame I have created. I have increased size little bit bigger, like uh, like this. Okay, this is size, right? So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the label. This label I'm going to name it as Java Game. Select this one again. Right click properties. Click on this one. Bold 18. This is the font I have selected. 80, 18, not uh, 36. Right click, properties, foreground color I am going to select as red, click OK, right, perfect. After that what I am going to do is, simply I am going to drag one panel, select this one, properties, border, bevel border, click OK, right, perfect. Now what I am going to do is, here I am going to drag the labels. Label I am going to create this label. So enter the number. Enter the number. Select again properties. Click on this one. Bold bit 24. Click OK. Perfect. Perfectly you have done. You have done perfectly. After that what I am going to do is, here I am going to drag the text field. Properties. Font bold 24. This one we have to name here changes like this one. TXT number. After that, I need one label. So this instead of this same label, control C to copy, control V to paste below. This label I'm going to name it as random. Random number. You have to name it. Uh, this one you have to change the name. Uh, LBL. This label. LBL number. Right. After that, what I'm going to do is we need one button. Drag and drop this button. I am going to name it as start. Select again properties with bold 24. Perfect. Select again 48. Perfect. Now let's do the programming step by step. Right. Now let's select this one. Right click properties, code generate center. After that, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to select UI design. So go to the source, Control F, UI. This one you have to select as metal. Look will be change it as a metal look. Here you will be able to see the metal look. To metal look now here again I'm going to select again properties 
change it as 36 perfect now you can see here 36 okay perfect now let's do the program okay so let's instead of this course i have written i have explained it start button i have put it paste it and i will be explained step by step don't worry about that first i have created the class random this is a random okay you have to if i create if you are write random new random you have to create the object r it asks to import the random package so you have to click the this, this red color button and enable the random class it will be coming here you have to write the it is under the util pack package the random class after that i am going to declare the variable a starting from 1 b starting from 10 uh, two state okay in between this number random will be generated if it is if you are select as 100 it will be generated as 100 okay so here the result in result are this are random next b this b b this is the number b a this a plus one okay this one should be the auto increment part okay here what is the text label i have declared label lbl number it's a label name so LBL number, so label number, so LBL number. So LBL number. So it's LBL number. So what's the name we have given? LBL number. So sorry. LBL number. So LBL number. Right. So here what is the text you are display over here randomly? It will be calculated and randomly text will be displayed over here. It will be passing the text variable over here. Here this text field. This text field I am going to name it as txt number. So we have txt number. We have to put it as a txt number over here. Right. That's the thing we have to. Right. So what I did here is first we have to. This is the random calculation part. Okay. If the random calculation it pass into the this variable, this text field. Okay. What is the random number display? So this random number after that this random person random random number display over here. It pass into this text variable. After that, I am going to create the variable x. I have equal into this text. This text box I have equal into the x variable. So I am going to check if this this what is the value you type on this text field equal into the this text. What is the text display? What is the text display over here? Okay. If it is matching, if it is equal to this matching, the game which you will be win, and at the same time again you display the message as game and system will be close. Exit. Otherwise. If it is enter, you, if, if the number is you enter wrong, try again. It displays as try again. Let's see whether it's working or not. Three, try again. If it is five, try again. One, try again. So you have entered the correct number. Six, you will be game end. Okay. This is simple gaming system. You have, you must try this one. This kind of programming help you to grow your Java knowledge step by step. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt. Let me know. Thank you for watching.